buckle. In this tutorial I'm just going to show you how you can use a cube design in a number of ways and save it to a CC library. Now first thing to do, just going to go over to the custom shape tool and I've got some custom shapes here. These ones are free on the Graphic Extras website so if you want to pop over and download those it'd be great. Now first thing to do, I'm going to use it as just a pixel design and I'm just going to use this cube as an example. So it's a vector design, you can make it any size. So once you've done that, you can actually just go, just drag it over to the library. You can't see the library. Just go to Window and Libraries. Now, of course, you can actually apply multiple designs. So I'll just create a, another couple of designs and just drag that over. And you see it stored away over there in the graphics section. Now, I'm going to go back to the, there and I'm going to set now to shape. Just going to apply it as a vector shape again, can be any size. So there's that design there. And now you can just drag it over and it stores it as a shape. So you just see it as a shape there. You can also apply effects or transformations. So I'm just going to perspective so you can create a totally different shape and click OK and then drag that over again and there it is stored again as another shape. Also you can apply multiple times so I'm just going to maybe in different colours so you don't have to obviously just use it in black so I'll just put it to red and then apply or pink. Select all the designs and drag that over, over there. Right, remove those and another option, and I'm just going to apply it back to black. You can apply, since it's a vector design shape layer, you can just go to layer and layer style and maybe a drop shadow. Just go for a drop shadow. Of course, you could apply any other styles such as metallic effects, etc. So, just got that and then click OK and again just select there and just drag over to the library and it's stored as a shape and you've got the layer style. Okay that's done and now also you can apply it like that and maybe add some text. Cube. Select both the text and the shape and again that can be stored over there with obviously the word cube written there. And another option, and I'm just going to quickly apply it as a pixel this time. There, and select the area. Go to edit and define pattern. Click OK. I'm going to go back to a new document. Layer. New fill layer and pattern. And then you've got the actual pattern there. What you can do, just go and select and just drag over to there. And another option, you can of course just go, and I'm just going to go back to the shape. Just create a shape and you can turn that into layer and smart object, convert to smart object, and then apply effect. So maybe a blur, very quick blur effect. And drag that over. To the library. Right, so that's, there's a whole range, I'm certain there's even more actually, but uh, that's a number of them anyway. So once you've actually done that, of course you've got them over there, and now you can just bring them back in again. Obviously it's not just much much point just creating them in a library and not using them at a later point, but you can just drag them over very quickly back into, and of course you can actually select those and drag those over and create a new design made out of all those three. And again you can do the same with say that one. Just select that one. Just drag it over and there you've got the layer style as well as the shape. 